Hi everyone, here's just a short video to explain the concept of relative price, uh, which is pretty important when we talk about the uh, allocation of resources in economics. So when we think about relative price, the best way to think about it is a comparison between two goods. And we're gonna start with two really basic goods here of, you can see on the left-hand side, that's what wheat looks like, and on the right is corn. So the word relative just means one thing compared to another. Um, and so what we're gonna start with is just a price comparison. So here, let's just got prices per kilo. And at the moment, uh, for scenario one, if you like, both corn, uh, both wheat and corn uh, are priced at $5 per kilo. So exactly the same price. Then let's say there's a market condition which forces a change to the price for just one of these goods. In this case, it's gonna be corn that increases in price. Let's say that's due to um, some uh, fall in supply due to you know, bad growing conditions or whatever. And as a result, you can see here, the price for corn has risen and the price for wheat has stayed the same. So, so far so good. Um, we're still within concepts that we fully understand. Now it starts to get a bit tricky, to, tricky in, returns, in terms of relative price. Now this is the price of one thing compared to another. And where relative price can get tricky is the price of something might stay the same. For example, wheat, it's $5 before, and now it's still $5. But relative to corn, or compared to corn, that relationship has changed. In scenario one, they had the same price, whereas now corn being more expensive, what that means is that the relative price of wheat has actually fallen compared to corn. The price hasn't changed anything, but the relative price of wheat to corn has actually fallen. And then you can kind of go the other way and go, well, the relative price of corn has increased. Well, the price of corn has increased, but also the relative price has increased as well. So what does this actually mean? Well, suppliers are always looking at what we call price signals, yeah? And as we've learned, uh, suppliers want high prices because that means high profit. So what suppliers see here, okay, well, if you're supplying wheat at the moment, you're a farmer and you're farming wheat and you see the price of corn has doubled, what do you think you're gonna do with your crop? Well, you're gonna reallocate your resources away from wheat and into the production of corn. So that's how, even though the price of wheat hasn't changed, the importance of relative price is it still uh, has a determining factor on the allocation of resources. So I hope this helps. If you need to go over it again, please go through the video once more. Otherwise, happy learning.